Hey guys, I wanted to stop while I was working on my breastplate and do a little tutorial for you guys because I thought it would be cool. Um, so yeah, I want to do a little tutorial of how I'm making these little screw head rivet things, whatever you want to call them. Um, most of my armor here I used googly eyes. These are bigger googly eyes. These are smaller googly eyes. You can see. You can still hear them shake. Some people take the things out so they don't shake, but I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, that's how these were made. Um, the googly eyes were glued onto the EVA foam and then covered in warbla and the heat did not, um, it might have warped a couple, but for the most part, they stood up to the heat, they stood up to the warbla and I was still able to put the grooves in there for the screws. So, but for my breastplate, I did something different because as I was making my breastplate, I forgot about the googly eyes. Um, same thing when I was doing the details here. I could have put the googly eyes on the foam here and down here and covered in warbler, but I forgot. So I'm like, well, shit, what am I going to do? Oh, I know. So I've been taking warbler scraps. These are scraps from my warbler sandwiches. So this is two layers thick. So... Yeah. So heat up the warbler scrap. With the heat gun, be careful. So I heat it up enough so you can. I'm going to fold it and wrap it up and keep going until you get what you think is enough for your screw head. So I think, I think that's good enough because I'm making ones that are a little smaller now. So you do that, you roll it up, you squish it in your hands, you can roll it to get it more smooth and then you basically have a little cylinder here like this little cylinder little little warbler cinnamon roll so and it will lose the heat quick so I have to heat it up one more time That way I can get it nice and smooth. Smooth as I can. And then and you just flatten it out a little bit. So you have a little little warble cinnamon roll there. So now I have these, make sure they're about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Um, because these are going on the sides, so they won't be as visible. So, take your little warbler cylinder and find your spot where you want to put it. The next one's going to go right here. And then I'll put two more over here. And then I think I'm going to put a big one here. So, either way. So, you find your spot. <coughs> Heat up your spot. Only takes a few seconds. Don't want to go that high. So only just heat up the spot for a few seconds. Heat up your cylinder again. Both sides. And then put it on your spot. So, oh, we got it on the spot. Still quite not hot enough. It's It was hot enough to stick. We got to heat it up just a little bit more so we can put the groove in there and flatten it out a little bit. So, 
so um, I'm using a tool like this um, clay tool or a cake tool so you flatten it out and then put the groove in it you could put the groove in it before attaching it but I think it's better to just do it after and get it nice and deep so when you prime everything with wood glue or whatever you use for priming the groove will still be visible and then you can go in and paint it up and use some black wash for aging purposes so yeah Obviously, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm spending way too much time on this than I should, but it's okay. Because I wanted to show you guys something. So, bam! I got my little rivet head, little screw head there, so, yeah. So, yay! This has been my little tutorial on how to make warbla screw heads so yay alternatives you don't always have to use googly eyes or thumbtacks or brads although those are all great alternatives so but if you don't have those warbla scraps are beautiful and and look look how good they look i almost like it better than the fucking uh, googly eyes, but uh, hey, you know, that would have taken a lot more work, but whatever. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'ma see you later. Poetics Team Hippie, out.